You may be academically retarded. Are you stupid and evil? Do you think that in one 24-hour day the Earth rotates once? Do you think the Earth is round? Here in this episode of Supernova, we'll be introducing the radical new theory of time cubism. Dr. Jean Ray, cubic, created time cubism in August of 1997 in an effort to change all math, science, and societies from the beginning of human existence. Some of our viewers may have heard of string theory and other theories of everything, but time cubism introduces a new paradigm that allows it to surpass all other theories. The Earth, it seems, is cubic. What does this mean? What implications does it hold for humanity? Find out today on Supernova. So Gene, you say that I'm stupid because I believe that when the Earth rotates once, there is only one 24-hour day, but your time cube principle disputes this, no? Right, it has uh, four corners. Uh, when it shines at midday, it simultaneously creates a midnight. Where the two majors join, it creates the two minors of sun up and sun down. And each qu corner quadrant of Earth rotates to its own separate 24-hour days. Consider the globe. As the Earth's north and south poles are located at the ends of the axis of rotation, they experience no rotational movement. Therefore, they describe static planes. The equator also exists on a plane. Together, the planes create a dynamic duality using a four-corner quadrant division. Because a four-corner quadrant division must also encompass a static duality, we can orient the four-corner quadrant division with the static duality of night and day. We must extend the time square to encompass the extent of the dynamic duality, creating a cube with four corners. This cube is known as the time cube. Since the Earth, and everything else, is a cube, we must apply a four-corner quadrant division. The four corners are at different times of the day. Sunrise, midday, sunset, and midnight. After one quarter of the Earth's rotation, each of the corners are at a new time of day. Repeat that once, and again, and all four corners have now been at each of the four times of day. Over the course of one Earth rotation, each of the corners has experienced a full day. Therefore, there are actually four full 24-hour days in a single rotation of the Earth. What causes Earth's seasons? Earth's seasons are caused by Earth's tilt on its axis. Instead of going straight it's not your head, fault that you're stupid Earth's and evil. It's the fault of the malicious educators in the world, teaching a singularity. Humans are educated stupid and revel within their stupidity. Humans are enslaved by word, the most efficient mind control. Shackles and whips are obsolete. Dr. Jean Ray, Cubic. Let's consider full volumetric space. Is this space finite? Could it be contained within a finite cube? But then there'd have to be more space outside the cube. We can't limit it. It doesn't make sense. Is this space then infinite, as shown in this animation? Oh, whoops. I couldn't portray it because infinity doesn't exist. Think about it. It's an incomprehensible notion. With our finite resources, we could never measure or traverse an infinite region. Infinity does not exist. We, as humans, experience different emotions. These emotions can be classified as positive or negative and active or passive. Combining these two categories, we form four emotional states. Active positive, passive positive, active negative, and passive negative. We can arrange these four points into a geometric figure called a tetrahedron, as shown. Now, 
If we arrange this figure to fit inside of a cube, we see the harmonious relationship between everything in the world and the time cube. If you were to try to make a compromise between the emotions instead of cycling through them, you would be stupid and evil. You would have a slave mentality, a sense of absolute certainty and invariability resulting in your destruction. To compromise between the emotions would be to eliminate the corners and to regress into the center, a singularity, and into non-existence.